Peace and greetings. So today we're going to be soldering together uh, the cipher box. So this should be kind of like a little tutorial if you get the PCB printed out from PCB way and want to make it yourself. You could, of course, use a breadboard, but this is just a much cleaner way. And uh, PCB way does a really good job. You could also pick your own color color for the lines um, you even can add in extra uh, words and stuff if you want customize and make it your own so first you're going to need for this PCB ESP 32d as you can see there so this is a fresh one gonna pop that in oh I'm gonna solder that in on the bottom. Yeah, and I'm um, going through PCB way. It's a pretty easy option. Um, I have a video on how to make a PCB through them. And uh, if you use my link, you also get a little discount. soldered in. So next we're gonna put in some buttons. Alright, so these in. So we got up, down, home. Go up, down, select home. Okay. So we got the 
next we'll put on the uh, RC522 reader. And the PCB has the pins for you um, so you don't get them mixed up. For the micro SD, I'm gonna put it on the bottom. this PCB you're going to want to make sure you have the VCC ground version if you can see that very important <clears throat> got the screen in next we'll put in the LED Here's the finished product. Here's the old one. And that's uh, pretty much how you do it. Got the screen, GPS, buttons, RFID reader, uh, LED, and the ESP32 Room 32D. And of course, the micro SD card. And then the next video, I'll show you how to <clears throat> install the firmware to it. Peace.